And I gotta have comfort all up in the section so up in the junk? Yeah. yeah. What kind of pants do you like? I just like the kind of like a little bit skinny. Not too tight and not too loose either. What kind of jeans do you like to see guys in? Skinny but not too skinny. I gotta have comfort if there's no comfort and I can't do stuff like this when I got my jeans on, I don't want them. What if I told you baggy jeans are coming back? No. No? Sure. Yeah, we feel no about baggy jeans. What do you think of these? Hell no. I wouldn't wear them. These are back in? I used to have one like this. What do you see wearing these jeans? Europeans who want to get into hip hop. You're the guys who want to wear these jeans. Absolutely, I'll buy it. Can I buy this one? What's up everybody, I'm Sabir Peel and welcome to Refashion. This week we're going to talk about baggy pants and especially these baggy jeans right here. These were an old classic, these are the Jabot jeans. I had a pair back in the mid 90s and I wore them with the biggest jersey. Uh, it was a Kobe jersey actually that I can find. I think I can fit about two fourth graders in each leg of these pants. I'm going to toss these away. So I'm going to take you back on the history of baggy pants. For this story, we're going to start in the 1980s with the power suit by Giorgio Armani. And for your reference, think American Psycho. So we had Bateman rocking the power suit, hair slicked back, big jacket, but equally as big pants. Bigger meant power back then. And then you go mid 90s, hip hop was taking off, baggy jeans were cool. So we had Criss Cross doing it. We also had Marky Mark and his funky bunch rocking big jeans. Once you hit the late 90s, the early 2000s, my favorite era, it was the Allen Iverson era. His pants were so baggy and his clothes were so dope, they banned his style and made a dress code. Then we're gonna hit mid 2000s. We saw the emergence of the skinny jean. Dior sent them down the runway. Half of the crowd liked it, half of the crowd didn't. Most people called them the hipster jean. And that took you all the way up until about 2015, so a few years back, because now we're seeing the wider pant come in. So we're hearing about two, three years ago, big brands such as Louis Vuitton were bringing back the bigger pant. And now you can even see him at J. Crew. Because that J. Crew must be back as a real trend. The bigger pants are coming back. And I'm gonna show you three ways how to rock them right now. Our first look that's gonna come out with our baggy pant style will be our more tailored look. So think maybe date night, you work at a cool place. We're gonna have our guy Philip pop in. Everybody, this is Philip. We're gonna start with the pant first. It's a wool pant, it's a wool trouser, so it's a traditional fabric that you can think, oh, I have that as a suit, so it's not too unfamiliar. But you can see here the silhouette's baggier, something that you always wanna look for in terms of a baggy pant when you're looking at a pant, is to make sure that it fits in the waist. It still should be the same size in a waist that you would typically wear, but you're gonna have a fuller silhouette. All right, now we're up for look two, and we're gonna go with a little sporty cash. My man Philip, come back. Just like before, we're gonna start from the bottom up. To keep this look sporty cash with the baggier pant, we went with a more sporty sneaker. Turn that to the side a little bit, a little chunkiness, a little bit chunkier, and it actually matches the pants way better. You can't even tell how baggy these are. I'm gonna pull on this a little bit. This is a heavier chino, so think like a dicky style pants. Got you some good distance in here. You probably could actually go for a run in these. And then as you come up, boom, boom, boom. Just like before, the silhouette still fits the waist really well, so this is tight on the waist, and then, the technical jacket. What I love about this look too is that it's light to counterbalance the bagginess of the, the pants. And for a little bit of texture, we've got the rib shirt, it's light. So we're gonna get all the heat from here, but you're staying light here. And the color play is really cool because it's like the neutral fashion-y vibe, but not overly fashion-y. So we got a little bit slimmer up top for a contrast to the baggy on the bottom, and then you're balanced out with a chunkier shoe. Easy way to rock this, easy casual. All right, so our third and final look, I'm calling it Dude, basic look. It's your intro to this baggy pant game. So we're gonna have Philip come in here. Basic dude look. We're gonna start from the bottom down. So if you look here, what I like about this pant, even though it's a baggier pant, the hem on this is cropped. So if you're looking to wear high tops, if you turn to the side just a little bit, you wear high top sneakers, you can still get that in and not have a lot of break. And if you see here, the taper on this pant is similar to a slim fit taper, but you still have a lot of space here in terms of being a baggier pant. But that taper comes in pretty nice. It's actually called a progressive taper. So it's tapered from the knee down. So you still have some form to it. If you turn around too, 
you'll still see here, the fit is normal. The fit's normal, it's not a bad year pan through here. And by pairing it with another uh, base of blue, so you have more blue on blue on blue, monochromatic is good. It actually makes you look tall, a little bit slimmer. And this actually gives you some dimension because there's three different levels of blue. And I know every guy has this Oxford shirt in their closet, so this is an easy one. If you're gonna go out and buy the pants, you already have the shirt in your closet. And if you look at the silhouette here, still a slim fit. It actually matches the slim fit of this baggy pant, which is an oxymoronic thing to say, but this is a slimmer version of the baggier pant. So you don't feel too boxy, and you still have some tailored stuff. What do you think? How you feel? Great, comfortably basic. Okay, all right, get out of here with your basic self. Thanks for joining me here, and hopefully you are inspired to wear one of these three baggy pant looks. If you like what you saw, be sure to subscribe, and stay tuned for more Refashioned.